Good evening, I'm Megan Mangiello. And I'm Adam Clemens. Thanks for joining us here at 530. There are growing fears as crashes keep happening in a single spot in Boone County. Help can't come soon enough for folks who live and work in Walton. Our Morella Porter is live in our studio and Morella, they know exactly what's causing these accidents, right? Yeah, exactly, Adam and Megan. The number of crashes that happen on the ramp to Mary Grubbs Highway is concerning. Congestion is one of the main problems. In less than three years, there have been 31 wrecks two of them fatal at exit 171 in Walton. Now to put that in perspective, Boone County Sheriff's deputies investigated 47 additional serious or fatal accidents in all of Boone County in that same time frame. A chain reaction crash killed a 74 year old man as he sat in traffic on this ramp leaving I-75 South to Mary Grubbs Highway. His wife critically injured. This week's crash comes just one year after two people, including a 15-year-old girl, died in an eerily similar situation. It's scary. It's a death trap out there. Julie Plumley fears more people will lose their lives if something is not done soon. I don't know what it's going to take, how many people have to die for some action to take place. Plumley thinks residential and commercial expansion in the area, plus constant tractor trailer traffic, is a major part of the problem. She's not alone. Traffic backs out onto the interstate on a daily basis, and um, the problem is the area grew too fast, too quick. Ron Gambrell works nearby and has watched the issue grow. We were all concerned when they started putting in the new ramps. So how are you going to get the people off the interstate and still keep the flow of traffic going? at a small intersection. Anybody that sees the intersection, everybody scratches their head and says why. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet manages the Walton Interchange. I'm told this six-year highway plan includes a $25 million project to reconstruct the interchange. The project would improve safety and congestion in the area. For Plumley, that's not soon enough. Think of it as your family member. What would you do? I mean, is your, if your family was at risk, don't, wouldn't you step up and, and fix what's going on here? Six years is way too long. And the Walton Interchange Reconstruction Project mentions all of the issues Plumley and Gambrel shared with me. The Kentucky Transportation Cabinet representative was out of town, so I do plan to do an interview another time to discuss those concerns. Megan. All right, Morella. Well, according to the Kentucky Transportation Cabinet, the number of crashes in the Walton Interchange area is five times the statewide average for similar roads. If you want to see the Walton Interchange reconstruction plan, just go to Local 12 News on an app and click on this story.